I'm V from Casually Fragrant. I have a great treat for you guys ahead. I'm going to be going over the entire Alchemist collection from Sacre Bay. I will link Sacre Bay's information down below. They are an indie perfume house based out of the U.S. They are both vegan and cruelty free and you can spend hours on their website taking a look at all of their different collections, the write-ups for the fragrances. It's absolutely like, I mean, it can take a long time for you to get through all of it, but I recommend you to check out everything. This in front is the Alchemist collection. I would like to thank Andrea from Sacre Bay for gifting me with these to review on my channel. It is so appreciated. Um, I have fallen in love with your brand and the fact that I was able to get the entire Alchemist collection is something that I am overwhelmed with. Um, it's so cool that I get to uh, talk about all of these and not only do I that with my readers, but I also get to keep these for myself and share them with my uh, friends and family to smell them as well. So since this is the Alchemist collection, let's start with this one, which is Alchemist. Um, they now have, each of these have a different design on them. And how beautiful are these? These are uh, sprays. And on their website, you can get um, a different sizes of fragrances. So you can get the full bottles, roller balls, or smaller sizes down to, um, I believe, samples. So for Alchemist, the notes are tobacco, toffee with some caramel, a leather, labdomen, and Neg Champa, which I will probably be mispronouncing, but that is a fragrance of Indian origin based on um, sandalwood and possibly magnolia or another floral. Um, this is an incense heavy fragrance. I like it, but it's not something that I would personally gravitate to wearing, wearing myself as often. Um, I also get a little bit of green in this and um, gr green and tobacco notes aren't something that I usually wear on myself, but it's a really well-made fragrance. And if you love tobacco and leather notes with some toffee, then I would definitely recommend checking out Alchemist. And um, my husband hasn't worn this one himself, but I think this is one that he might enjoy as well. Let's do all of the larger size ones first. Actually, no, you know, actually, I'm going to go with this one here. This is one of my favorites, Aqua Vitel, which in Latin, which I'm probably mispronouncing, but in Latin, it translates to water of life, which is a name for concentrated aqueous solution of ethanol. Basically, alcohol. <laughs> and this is definitely a wonderful scent. It is got key limes with coconut cream and uh, linen. And it's it's very unique. And it to me, it just reminds me of a key lime pie, but it's not too sweet. It's like a well-made key lime pie with like a coconut whipping cream topping on it. And you kind of get the to coconut from the base of the pie. It's a gourmand, um, definitely one of my favorites in the collection with the sweetness, but not too sweet. And the fruit, I absolutely love Aqua Vitale. Um, and if you haven't tried a key lime type of fragrance, I highly recommend trying out these, this one. And just to show you, these are all, oops, <laughs> uh, all roller ball. Uh, roller balls. So moving on in the Alchemist collection, we have Crucible. Um, and this is a smoky fragrance. Crucible has some absinthe in it, bergamot, oranges, cedar, fennel with a bitter accord. This is a smoky orange with wood, woody notes to me. It's all like this could be worn for any season. I find the orange in it is quite, you know, warming with some of that a cedar, but I think this could actually go really well in the summer as well with that freshness from the bergamot. Um, I, I like this one, but there is a, another orange one actually in this collection that is, um, I prefer over this one, but once again, wonderful fragrance, Crucible. And now we have a Lodestone, I'm trying to go in some order here. So there's Lodestone here. Um, once again, look at the beautiful drawings on these. Um, I absolutely love when there's kind of like a unique story behind a fragrance. You have like a different um, 
a bottle or something on it. It just, I really like this. Um, really like that design there. And so Lodestone um, is chocolate peppermint with figs. This is a yummy gourmand. I definitely get all three of those ingredients. To me, this reminds me of like a dark chocolate mint. Um, I absolutely love dark chocolate mints. And this is just a wonderful unisex scent. Um, if you're looking for a minty chocolate fragrance, try this one out. I have tried ones in the past that I haven't gravitated towards too much, but I will be wearing this in the cooler months for sure. That's Lodestone. Um, the next one, and I'm really going to be trying to pronounce all of these, um, but I'm probably going to mispronounce some of these words. So Alembic, Alembic here. Um, this has sweet pumpkin souffle with marshmallows and a buttery maple syrup um, and tuberose. Now, <clears throat> this is one that I enjoyed, but my husband did not like this one on me when I was wearing it. Um, I, I mean, I'm Canadian. I gotta love the maple syrup. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be reading the notes, though, with the marshmallow and maple syrup. So I definitely think this is like a unisex scent, and I don't think it's very sweet. Um, but I do really like the notes, and um, that's Almbeck, so probably. Uh, and then Arcanium. Um, Arcanium here. This has oak moss. Uh, labdomum with like a kind of they have listed here like a library note so you kind of get that like almost like a dustiness from us peach blossom um, lemon and uh, wax and to me I get a fresh green and woodsy scent from this one um, I if you you know like the same scent compositions as I do sometimes, I think this is something that I won't gravitate towards wearing. Um, I will have my husband try this one on himself if that's something he enjoys, more of the fresh green and woodsy scent. Um, but I just, I love the whole concept of this whole Alchemist set. I think there's like a really great theme with all of them um, together. Now, be, here we go. The next one is Bezor. Um, this has salted caramel, marzip marzipan, coumarin, and teakwood. So this, along with the other one, this one here also has uh, not, uh, like with caramel and marzipan, I thought it would be very sweet, but it's actually not sweet. Um, it's more spicy with woods. It's a very unisex gourmand and um, not too sweet. So with those notes, usually when I have caramel, caramel or almond and those notes. I prefer this fragrance to be quite sweet. I find this one's not very sweet. Um, more of a kind of like a spicier one with the woodsy notes to me come through the most. <clears throat> so now, um, and all the samples that I have, you know, worn and tried, they all last a really long time. And one of my favorite ones is, and it's probably the one I'm going to butcher the most in trying to pronounce, <laughs> is Codices. Now, this symbol here is um, uh, like the two serpents with the staff, and that's what the caudius, I believe this the symbol is. It's it's actually a Greek symbol, and that's and one I believe it's the 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 symbol's been known for about like it's four thousand or three thousand before Christ years old. It's a really old symbol, and it was then used for commerce and negotiation. In the U.S., this is sometimes used as a medical symbol, but I believe the actual medical symbol just has one snake, not two. Um, and that's the, there. So there is a difference between these um, symbols. In any event, no matter what's on the cover of this one, this is one of my favorite ones. And I am so stoked that I have a full size. I have worn this already a couple times. Um, it's got lavender honeycomb with elderberry, oud wood, clove, and patchouli. I don't find it too patchouli heavy. I really get the lavender and the elderberry with just like a bit of spice. And I realized after wearing this, um, I really like elderberry as a note and I've never really looked into it before. So I'm kind of going to be looking into that note a bit now. So as a story of how long this lasts, um, so I play ice hockey. Yes, I'm Canadian. Yeah, that's kind of a stereotypical Canadian thing to do, and I tend to, um, well, I guess I'm, I'm gonna, you know, perpetrate the stereotype, and I wore this before, um, <clears throat> sorry, before a hockey game, and it lasted through, like, 
the entire game and then I came home and I could still smell this on me. So the longevity of this is just like incredibly long. If you can actually play sports and it just like lasts. Um, and, and yes, I am definitely wear perfume when I play sports. I don't care what anyone else says. I think this would be a great scent day or night. I think it's a really special scent and there's something in that lavender and elderberry combo that I absolutely adore. So that's Caudius. And then we have um, Distillate. This is another one of my favorites is Distillate here. Once again, beautiful drawing on the label. This has, so it kind of mentions like a metal um, scent to it with oranges, cloves, and cinnamon. And this is the other orange fragrance in the bunch that I absolutely love. Um, this would also be, I think, fantastic for layering with other scents. So I have a few fragrances that have caramel and orange and cloves. I have, you know, a fragrance that's like chocolate, orange, like this here, I think would be a base that you could really mix with other caramel or chocolate perfumes, um, scents. It is a gourmand, warm and spicy scent, and I absolutely love it. Um, definitely will be wearing this one in the cooler months, um, cause it is a warm and cozy scent and, um, that's a distillate. And moving on to another favorite from here, I have a couple, a few, a few favorites is Quicksilver. Um, Quicksilver has pumpkin spice incense, pink peppercorns, and it's mentioned to have an early dusting of snow. It's the description. Um, and it's very unique. I think it's a light unisex scent. Um, I really like the incense in this. I don't find it too heavy. There's no strong wood notes in this, which I really appreciate having an incense kind of based fragrance that isn't, um, that's kind of different from what I've smelt before. Um, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it um, and it does project. I do like Quicksilver um, myself for me to wear. Um, and then we have here as large size, this is Orboros. This is a green galbanum, anise, peppermint, white thyme, and tobacco. And when you spray this, you get a huge kind of blast of a fresh garden green with a bit of spiciness to it. Um, this is something I'm gonna let my husband try out. Personally, this leans somewhat masculine to me and it isn't something that I would wear um, myself just because of that tobacco and green isn't, those, those aren't really a note combination that I gravitate towards, but it's, um, it's very interesting. And if you like green fragrances, that like really fresh kind of garden green, I would check out Orboros. And last one in this, alchemist set is the philosopher's stone that's one this one right here the philosopher's stone this has a rain note um hot mocha with black cherries and black currants and wormwood and i believe wormwood is something that can be used in absence so there's kind of like a boozy note to that um the dry down's very nice and rich, I find, in this one with the berries. Like, you really get a heavy berry dry down. Um, and the opening, I, I do get kind of like a wet, rainy kind of a note from this fragrance. Really interesting um, concept for this. The whole Alchemist set is absolutely wonderful. I really like, there's a kind of something that connects all of them together by their names, by kind of the artwork on them and um, I would definitely recommend checking out Sacre Bay down below and once again I really want to thank Andrea for sending me these um, thank you so much I really appreciate it and just as my favorites this is the Caudius one I also really liked Aqua Vitae the uh, Key Lime Distillate here and uh, Quicksilver. These are definitely, for me, my four favorites of this um, collection. They're all wonderful fragrances. So thank you so much for uh, checking out and uh, my review on The Alchemist. And stay tuned because I will also be uploading a video on another Sacre uh, perfume collection. So thank you so much.